The Adventures of Damsel Doggy, starring Brian in a Viking helmet. It's back. <laughs> Possibly even scheduled at the correct time. I, the previous episode, somehow I just put up at the wrong time, which is fine. It went up a few hours earlier than it usually does. Um, but I was just surprised to see it come up last night. I was like, isn't this supposed to come up at another time? So I don't know what I did wrong with my YouTube scheduled uploader thingy. But in any case, we're continuing to play Spelunky. And speaking of yesterday's episode, yesterday's episode, I made what I thought was a very bold prediction in terms of how other people were going to do on that particular daily. And so in today's episode, at the end, when we go back and review the scores, we will be able to find out if those predictions came true and find out just how prescient, is that the word? Prescient, prescient. Brian is, in terms of being able to predict the future. And let's see. Yeah, we'll save that for the end. I have already taken a peek at the scores. <laughs> so I might already know some of what's going on there. And let's see. Okay, I need to not die right here. So let's go zing. Oh, no, 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 no! <sighs> I had to avoid the spikes. Unfortunately, I took two bits of damage right there trying to avoid them. Probably could have done that better. Fortunately, I see a damsel who's dying to give me a lick at the end of the... The end of the level to try to help make up make up for things. Oh my goodness Help lick my wounds as it were All right, so we'll be able to get some health back from that Let's just try not to take any more before we reach the exit apparently that arrow trap down there has already gone off um, Depending upon how safe it is to get to the exit right now. Where is the exit? It is right down there it looks pretty darn safe. Damsel Doggy has not yet taken any damage. And so Damsel Doggy, being the hero that he is, is going to take an arrow for me, knowing that he has enough hit points to do it, and still be able to get to the exit. He's such a brave soul. Good job, Damsel Doggy. You're the hero in my book. And since we have a boomerang, we'll go ahead and take a boomerang to the next level. Not the best of 1-1s, but we do have 10 bombs now. And so, and that is a useful asset to have in our back pocket. We're carrying a boomerang, which is nearly the size that I am. It's the biggest boomerang you've ever seen. Or perhaps I'm an extremely small spelunker. And maybe that explains why... Whoa! <laughs> I see the arrow trap over there. And it does not make me happy. And I think I'm still going to have to deal with it, because it appears that this way is a dead end. So, let's see. If I... I think I can do this. Nice. Good job, Brian. Way to successfully anticipate and defend yourself from taking damage. It's important to congratulate yourself whenever you have minor victories in order to keep your confidence up and keep going. <laughs> or at least I find it is, at least in this game. Because this game is at times punishingly difficult, such as yesterday. <laughs> Oh, dear. Alright, I am killing the things. I am staying alive. Ah, 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 ah. Staying alive. Yeah, look at the boomerang. Breaking a pot open on the one way. Killing the venomous snake on the other. Is there anything down there I need? There is not. I am already stocked when it comes to weapons. Got the boomerang of destiny. I remember when I was first... Uh, just starting up Spelunky Blind, and first kind of getting to the jungle, which is one of the places you most often get the boomerang. Um, and the first few times I got the boomerang, and I was like, this is the best weapon ever! Because prior to then, it was the rock, you know, because the rock has infinite durability, you can throw it at multiple enemies, it's a very useful thing to kind of carry around. And then I got the boomerang, and the boomerang was kind of like a long-distance version of the rock that comes right back to you. And I was like, this is the best weapon ever. It was amazing. Now I know about some even better weapons, <laughs> now that I know how to fight shopkeepers. Alright, I'm not going to buy anything from that shop, and so we're just going to move forward once again. I'm pretty sure we reasonably thoroughly, I'm not sure that I got to the bottom right, uh, but explored that level, and so I don't think the lock chest with the eye of Ujat was anywhere there. And so we will have to keep an eye out for it. Here on 1-3, perhaps we will find it in the snack pit, aka the snake pit. And if I can kill... let's just do this. Oh! I spent two! Darn it! 
which ruins everything. All right, I think... I think I can kill the spider with the boomerang. Oh boy. Or my feet. Or some combination therein. Oh boy. All right, that's right. You go ahead and jump over me to the left or the right somewhere. You're going to shoot your little thingies now, aren't you? Yep. It's going to go web. Okay. I can totally do this. There we go. Okay, great. I've taken a lot of damage from big spiders in the past. Uh, but I've actually spent... All right, I guess am I headed down into the snack pit right now? It seems like I am. Um, yeah, I've spent a bit of time, ooh, practicing the big spiders some, so that I would take less damage from them in the future. Oh boy, there's a Kali altar. There's our damsel. Uh, there are spitting snakes down there. One of the arrow traps has already gone off. The other has not. And I have to make sure that the damsel doggy does not die. Because that would be a shame. A shame! A crying shame. Hmm. So what I would like to do... If I set Damsel Doggy down... Actually, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put Damsel Doggy there. Damsel Doggy will kill everybody. And then I can do this, and that will kill the snake, and everybody is happy. Okay, great. Damsel Doggy didn't actually take any damage there. He was just stunned. And while Damsel Doggy is stunned, he can't take further damage. So it was very thankful. Uh, of me to have thrown him right there, because that's exactly what he needed. All right, we're gonna get the boomerang. Oops, we're gonna get the boomerang out of here because I'm about to set off a bomb, and I don't want the boomerang to hit me in the face. Uh, the little arrowheads, if they hit me in the face, that's okay. They won't stun me. We're gonna grab the mattock. I see the pick over here, or the pick. I see the key over here. As for the locked chest, I don't know where it is. I do have a bunch of ropes, and I'm gonna need to use them. So let's start doing that. Oh boy. This is gonna be... This level may yet to be a tough nut to crack. We're gonna go ahead and use another rope. I'm not completely sure that I technically needed it. Actually, we're gonna use another one because, yeah, exactly, the ghost is coming. And I have not yet solved nearly enough of this level. I would... We're gonna start getting ourselves into extremely dangerous situations here. Um, but I'm gonna go back down into the bottom. Uh, to get either the dog or the pick. Let's see. What do I want to do? I'm gonna leave the dog down here Take the pick back up See if I can rescue the dog later But see if I can manage to make some new useful ways around now uh, So let's try to make myself a number of different ways that I can travel through this level Whoa Oh, boy! Oh! I'm still alive! I'm still alive! Come on, Brian! Try to stay alive. Alright. Didn't get a chance to ghost that. Um, I might have to bail. Oh, except for, uh, the, right, the key in the Ujat Eye. Crap, I really want these things. Um, I'm out of- oh, boy. I'm out of ropes. Um. Yep! Okay! We will jump over the ghost like that. We will continue to carry around the pick. I play to win. <laughs> I'm not going for no second place uh, over here. Oh boy, the scorpion's gonna get me! Yeah, darn it. I'm not gonna give up on Damsel Doggy and the Ujat Eye just because I kind of trapped myself in a corner on this level. All right, I didn't play that well, um, but rather than stay alive and have a mediocre run, I was gonna go for it all. I went for it all. I flew too close, well, too close to the sun. All right, and so. Yeah, once again, seems like a lot of people have been struggling with hey, Winter! Hey, haven't seen Winter Maw play Spelunky in a while. So that is great to see her again. Um, the other Brian did very well. Fairy Juice did very well. And now I might even have enough people. Okay. It's time to look at yesterday. Yesterday, my bold prediction was that at least two people were going to die on 1-1, the very first level. How true did it come? One, two, three! Fedrin, Alex, and Fabe all died on 1-1. I was the best person to make it to the end of the mines. However, Neon Tiger and Fairy Juice both made it out of the mines. I was challenging my friends to even make it out of the mines. Uh, Fairy Juice aired his episode, I already saw. Um, and he did a good job. And I can't remember if Brian is airing his episode or not. Um, but in any case, all these people that I have in my friends list uh, often record their Spelunky episodes. 
And so you should check them out. They're in the description of the video. I think this is pretty short, and so let's go ahead. I'm in the mood to play a little bit of adventure mode. And if I do play some adventure mode, then I can also afford to... Let's see, are there other things I want to talk about? Um, for those of you who are watching Rogue Legacy, when does this air? By the time this airs, you will have seen that despite the fact that I was struggling mightily in New Game Plus 2, I solicited a bunch of suggestions from you all in terms of different builds that I could do for my characters and character classes to use in order to have some success, as well as just manage to, I don't know, kind of get my act together, get my game together, and am finally having success in that game again. And so I'm super excited about that. Uh, and so if you haven't been watching that, and you're looking for another roguelike action platformer to watch Brian play, uh, there's always Rogue Legacy, haha! -ha. Cross-branding, I don't know. <laughs> um, let's see, for those people who are into board games, I think I've talked about it once or twice. A board game that I really enjoy playing is one called Dominion, which is a kind of like tabletop card game where, oh, I can get the damsel doggy over here, can't I? It, even though it's not the daily challenge, it's still the case that the episode is entitled The Adventures of Damsel Doggy. So let's try to take Damsel Doggy on an adventure. Hi, Damsel Doggy. Hey, your adventure is going to be a short one on this level. Da 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 da. <laughs> Hooray. So Dominion is a tabletop kind of like card strategy game that you can play with like two to four people or something. Uh, and so a friend of mine and I usually play it together, um, the two of us, and there's a bunch of different kind of like, I don't know, like expansion packs or whatever you would call them. Do I want to spend a bomb on Damsel Doggy and some things? I think no, I think I'm going to hold on to my bombs. And so, much like I would like Minecraft Bingo to eventually become, in Dominion you play with ten different types of cards each game, but there's, with the different expansions, yikes, like 40 or 50 different cards to choose from, and so each game of Dominion turns out different. With Minecraft Bingo, uh, so far it's always been the case that there have been, you know, exactly 25 cards to play with, or 25 cards, 25 items to go for. Oh, no! All right, that was a bad rock throw. Apparently I'm learning from Nihon Tiger, who did something extremely similar. Oh, man. Man. This is a mean level. Oh, there's a bunch of bombs down there, though. I need to go rob the shop, get the bombs, and come back up here, I think. Yes, I think that's the best strategy. Alright, so we're gonna do this. Gonna hop down here. I really need to move, too, because I've already used up over a minute. Alright, I need to kill him. Gonna rob the shop. Do, 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 do. Set that back down. Put a bomb in your face, in your face! Kablamo! Uh, I can't remember if there was a Kali altar up there. I don't think there was. I leave the shotkeeper's body here. I, I'm actually gonna leave, I don't think there's many uh, enemies. I'm gonna leave the shotgun back there as well so we can carry the dog forward. Because now that I have all these bombs, we're gonna go back up and rescue the dog. I think I could've used the shotgun as a shotgun jump here. Oh no, I need to use the shotgun as a shotgun jump here, unless there's another way up. Could I get up through the floor over here? Possibly? I think possibly I can. Let's try this. Oh crap, that hasn't gone off. Yeah. Alright, that didn't work. Um... Darn it, I've done this so wrong. Oh man. Let's see. I'm gonna go back, get the shotgun, use the shotgun for the shotgun jump so that I can get up to the top level, bomb through the wall, rescue Damsel Doggy, get to the idol, which will help break open more of the level, uh, and possibly give me an opportunity. Oh boy. <laughs> so when I warmed up before today, I only got to 1 3. Uh, and I was like, yeah, I'm doing fine. It was just a silly way to die to a shopkeeper. No, apparently my warm-up rounds are very correlated with my actual performance. Alright, I think maybe I'll call it there. Uh, we'll save more Dominion stories for the future. I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day. I'll see you again soon with more Spelunky.